Good evening. A former manager of Celtic Boys Club has been jailed for four years for sexually abusing young boys. 83-year-old Frank Kearney was convicted of nine charges dating back to the 1960s. It comes on the day that victims of another Celtic Boys Club paedophile called on the Scottish Government to launch an inquiry. Here's our sports news correspondent, Chris McLaughlin. Another Celtic Boys Club paedophile arriving at court today to be sentenced described by the judge as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Frank Kearney joined Celtic Boys Club in 1971. He used his position to molest youngsters in a church hall, in his car, at Celtic Park and the club's Barrafield training ground. Today, one of his victims, who can't be identified, spoke out. The sheriff today has given him four years. He could only give him five years because of the court he was in. My life sentence has been 45 years. I'll take that to the grave with me. As Kearney was being led to prison, other Celtic Boys Club victims were in Holyrood to ask for an independent inquiry. Kenny Campbell and Andrew Gray were abused by Celtic Boys Club founder Jim Torbett, who was jailed last year. Today, Kenny and Andrew's mother wanted answers as to why. So today was worthwhile? 100%. Yeah, well, I, I hope so. I really hope so. I really hope that, I mean, they were there today and they were nice and they were listening to us, but I really hope that what they said wasn't just to sort of have us going away thinking, well, we've got somewhere. I just hope that they're going to put in place what they said to us today. That's all I wish for. I, I think they've all got a positive feeling at the world. Well, the that's guy, good, Kenny. The guy a couple of times we were talking to him, he, he seemed embarrassed, to be honest with you. Celtic FC has always maintained Celtic Boys Club was a separate entity. They were asked for comment today, but have yet to respond. The least we deserve, we deserve an, an independent inquiry. Somebody must be able to account for what's happened. Chris McLaughlin, Reporting Scotland.